Welcome. This is our Algebra 2 Quadratic Functions Lesson 5 Zero Product Law Home Review Part 1. And if you find these uh, videos helpful um, that we do, especially for this one or any other ones we do, please, well, this one at least, give it a like if you, if you found it helpful. And um, ask any questions or comments in the comment section below. And uh, let's start. Number one, solve each of the following equations for all value or values of x. And so for here, of a, x minus 2 times x plus 5 equals 0. And we see in this case, when we multiply two things and the product is 0, we know that one or the other is equal to 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to just set each of these factors equal to 0. So we have x minus 2 equals 0 and x plus 5 equals 0. Add 2 to both sides. We have x equals 2. Subtract 5 on both sides. x equals neg 5. Neg 5. Oh, let me clean this up a little bit here. Uh, problem making 5s. Hmm. All right. So, so we have two answers. x equals 2 and x equals neg 5. And if we would use either one of these into our equation, we would get zero. So those are both solutions for this equation. For letter B, 7x minus 1 times 2x plus 5 equals zero. Again, we set each of these factors equal to zero. Here we're going to add 1 first to get 7x equals 1, then divide by 7 x equals 1 over 7. Here we're going to subtract 5 on both sides. 2x equals neg 5. Divide both sides by 2. x equals negative 5 over 2. And there you go. All right? x equals 1 over 7. x equals negative 5 over 2. Right? So the goal is, if we have them already factored, is to set each factor equal to zero. Okay? That's why factoring is a pretty big deal here. So. so, again, for C, 3x minus 1 times 3x plus 1 equals zero. We set 3x minus 1 equals zero and 3x plus 1, 3x plus 1 equals zero. Add 1 to both sides for the first one. 3x equals 1. Divide both sides by 3 x equals one-third. For the second one, we subtract one both sides. 3x equals negative one. Divide both sides by three. x equals negative one-third. Which means our solutions for the third one are x equals one-third and x equals negative one-third. Either one of these answers used for x will definitely set the equation equal to zero. Okay? Two, solve each of the following quadratic equations which have already been set equal to zero. So we're going to factor. And in this situation, we're trying to find two numbers that multiply 16 and add to 10. Well, the two numbers that multiply 16 and add to 10 are going to be 8 and 2. Okay? And in this case, the large number gets a plus sign. We want a positive 16, so that's plus as well, too. So we now factor, and we get 8, 8, 8, x plus 8 times x plus 2 equals 0. So we can set each of those factors equal to 0. So x plus 8 equals 0, and x plus 2 equals 0. So try 8 on both sides. x equals negative 8. That's one answer. So try 2 on both sides x equals negative 2. That's the other answer. So these are solutions for A. So it's about factoring. Okay, so now factor this one, or second one, 3x squared plus 11x minus 4 equals 0. This one's a little more tricky to factor, and so I'm going to use a guess and check method in where I do know that um, the terms will be 3x and x for my first two here to get, to get, uh, to get 3x squared. Okay? Now, I know that I want... Uh, the two numbers I choose for my for the for the back ends to be four to multiply to four, 
and when I do my distribution, the 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 sum or well, actually the the two numbers will subtract to eleven. Okay, and so I'm gonna put my one here and my four here. And the reason I do this is because if I multiply three times four, I get twelve, and one times one uh, one, and therefore twelve minus one gives me the eleven I'm looking for. So I want to pause the 11, I want to pause the 12 here and a negative one here. And we can always, you know, distribute, check, make sure it works out. And so we can see in this case, we get 3x squared plus 12x minus 1x minus 4 equals 0. Or 3x squared plus 11x minus 4 equals 0, which is the same exact equation we have. So this is a factored form. And now we're going to set each factor equal to zero. Here, the first one is 3x minus one equals zero. And the second factor is gonna be x plus four set equal to zero. Again, the reason why we set each factor to zero because any number multiplied by zero is equal to zero. Right, and so we know if we know in this case the product ends with zero, that each that either one or the other or both factors must equal to zero. All right, so if three x equals to one, divide both sides by three. X equals one third. Here, subtract both sides by four. X is equal to negative four, and so the so solution for b will be x equals negative one third and x equals x equals positive one third x equals negative four and finally for c here we're going to actually take the greatest common factor it's always a one thing to do if you can greatest common factor here is 4x leaving us with 3x plus 2 equal to zero and yes it's okay to have a single term as a factor so what we have is a 4x, I use red, well, I'll use green. 4x is equal to 0, and 3x plus 2 equals 0. Well, if you divide both sides by 4, you still get x equal to 0, and that's our first solution. Subtract 2 on both sides. We get 3x equals negative 2. Divide both sides by 3 x is equal to negative two thirds and x equals zero. And so this will be our solution for number two C. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna be the end of our algebra two quadratic functions, lesson number five, zero product law, home review part one. If you, and again, if you found this video helpful, please give a like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, um, leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. All right, uh, make sure that you guys uh, watch our next videos and all because you know it gets a little more tricky, but very important material we're doing uh, as far as um, as math goes, solving quadratic equations because you will see them a lot in everything we do. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.